Hello everybody, welcome to the Peace Security Channel. Now ESET have released Smart Security 8 as we all know, but it has a hidden feature which I was previously unaware of, and that is Smart Mode in HIPS. So finally, they have added a feature in their intrusion prevention system to make it more intelligent, to make it able to distinguish between zero-day uh, malware and just regular files that are clean. So let's take a look at what they've done. So let's go into the advanced settings. As you can see, host intrusion prevention system comes enabled. However, the surprising thing is their smart mode or whatever is supposed to uh, be this uh, zero day feature comes disabled by default. This kind of suggests to me that it's completely, um, you know, it's not fully ready to um, be used. They may be having some rules which may or may not cause conflicts and at the same time I don't think it'll be too thorough with the malware. So if we go into smart mode, it says order of evaluation is rules and then it's going to ask on suspicious action and allow on failure. So it's only going to ask you on suspicious actions rather than just about anything. Now that can be demonstrated by just uh, going into smart mode. And now let me just run CCleaner. Now, if I would run CCleaner in interactive mode, I would be bombarded with a ton of HIPS alerts from ESAP. But it looks like smart mode does not catch legitimate applications that much. So that is a bit of a relief for people who really wanted some zero-day protection. And I guess the top of the list would be me, because I've been whining about this thing ever since um, this module came into existence. So finally, they've added the smart mode, but the question is, how good is it? That's what we'll be trying to find out today. So I'll leave this in smart mode. Obviously, I'm not going to test it again in automatic mode with rules. That's not the point of this video. So first, we'll do a detection ratio test, and then I'll do a separate zero-day test for the intrusion prevention system that has been improved. So let's get started. So first of all, I'll disable hips and get some, uh, in fact, I'll disable everything. And I'll grab my malware. And since I don't have the luxury of having too many malware samples today, I will be having some separate malware samples which will be just used for the zero day test. So in here, I've got some deadly stuff. This uh, is a list of 188 items. It's not a big list, but it's a de deadly one. And, um, you know, most of these are all confirmed malware. So Ethet should be able to detect quite a few of these. So I'll update it once again, and then we'll do a signature test to see how good their detection ratios are coming up. As you can see, we have the latest signatures, and now time for the scan. And as you can see, ESET has detected quite a few of them. Let's see what we're left with. We're left with nothing. So, an absolute 100% detection on these samples. But that was kind of expected because most of these were absolutely confirmed malware and they were having fairly, you know, fairly decent detection ratio. So, a pretty good product like ESET should be able to catch most of these. And it did. But 100%, that's really impressive. I was expecting it to get like 95 or something, but 100, that's great. So, let's see how it does with the new HIPS component. Now that's what I'm more interested about. So I'm going to leave the AV turned off and I'm going to go into the no signature test. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ensure that their zero day protection remains turned on. There you go. This thing is turned on and it's active. And some people ask me, well, 
how do you do this test? I mean, some products, they may not have um, a separate module for zero-day protection. So when you turn off real-time protection, everything gets turned off. But with ESET, that's not the case. And I can demonstrate that if we go into interactive mode for a moment. There you go. So the hips or their zero-day components and other components continue to function even when the real-time protection is turned off. So if smart mode is supposed to catch any malware whatsoever, it's going to catch it right now. So what I'm going to do is I'll just go ahead and run these samples with ESET's uh, antivirus turned off, and we'll see what it can do and what kind of damage we're able to uh, inflict onto the system. So here we go. Let's run the first file. I didn't see anything happening. It's probably a fake AV. This thing was uh, caught by the intrusion prevention system. It says it's trying to modify the registry. I'm going to deny that. not getting a response on some of these which is kind of expected because this is the first time they're doing this so I'm not expecting it to be perfect or anything but it's good to know that they've finally taken a step in the right direction now hopefully this component can be improved later on okay this is the uh, advanced memory scanner at work you remember that we had a setting and host intrusion prevention system called advanced memory scanner. Now this is that component so it caught this thing. That's good. So ESET is finally you know catching up on zero day protection. Once again, this was the memory scanner, I guess. But I have a feeling there's plenty of malware running in the system already. There you go. So definitely this thing isn't foolproof. Okay, once again, threat found in memory, so that's their memory scanner. More and more threats being found in memory. So I'll close all of these. So this is the last file. And that one was probably let to just run and have fun. But anyway, so it looks like ESET has allowed a majority of these files to run just fine with their zero day component turned on. However, it's not for me to decide whether or not it did well. All that job will be done by our second opinion scanner, so let's go ahead and do some scans. So I'll let the system run, then I'll reboot it after about, let's say, a minute or so, and then I will just uh, grab my scanners and see what's left over. So here are the results from the second opinion scanners. As you can see, Malwarebytes has detected four infections, three files, all in app data roaming, and a malware trace, which is a registry key. 
And Hitman Pro has pretty much the same story. It just cut the files and it didn't find the registry key. So, what can we say about ESET's brand new zero day components? It's definitely not the best. It lets some infections through. But at the same time, I'm very happy to see that they've um, actually added something. Something's better than nothing, right? And this is not useless at all. As you saw, we ran about 10 files and we just got three infections. So that's not bad for a zero day component. Um, since we didn't use the signatures or anything, we just used the zero day component. This is not necessarily a bad result. So uh, when you've just got like three or four files left over, it's not going to be so bad. But having said that, again, this thing could be much better. I was hoping that uh, it would be much more foolproof than it is at the moment. But then again, this is just a beginning. I hope they bring in more improvements in the future. And I'm sure with continued updates, this could well take ESA to um, the top of line product section. So I hope you guys enjoyed this test. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay informed. Stay secure.